Docker is a tool to generate documentation based on the javadoc or kdoc comments. It outputs a document generated in HTML, GitHub flavored markdown or javadoc format. To get started, add the Docker class path to your project level build.gradle file. In your app level build.gradle file, add the Docker plugin. The basic setup is done. To run Docker to generate HTML, GFM, GitHub flavored markdown, or Java doc. For Windows, use gradlew.bat. For Linux or Mac, use dot forward slash gradlew. Run docker html to generate html docs. The generated docs are in your app build docker directory. Run docker gfm to generate GFM docs. Run Docker Java doc to generate Java doc. Here we create a normal function and add a k.comment for it. Just like with javadoc, k.comments start with forward slash asterisk asterisk and end with asterisk forward slash. Every line of the comment may begin with an asterisk, which is not considered part of the contents of the comment. You can see Docker generated output for the comment we just added. To learn more about KDoc and JavaDoc, see the official tutorial linked in the description. To change the custom output directory of Docker, in your app level build.gradle file, add the code configuration shown. The above code is tested on Windows OS and it works. The output will be generated at documentation backslash HTML. In version 1.4.30 of Docker, the generated functions also include inherited ones. This means even the function we did not override in the class, the docs for them are also unnecessarily generated. This results in wastage of space and clutters the docs. This also makes it way harder to find our own documented functions among the hundreds of inherited functions. There's an open issue on the official GitHub repo. The issue is linked in the description. The workaround for HTML is to separate the inherited functions into different columns. To do that, in your app level build.gradle file, add the following code configuration to separate the inherited functions. To note, this only works with HTML. The GFM or Java doc will still have all the inherited and all the ones we defined in the class in the same column. There's a good chance in the future the inherited functions will be hidden when not overridden in the class. The milestone for the fix is described in the description. Let's create a deprecated function and see how Docker handles it.
By default, Docker shows the deprecated functions. To hide the deprecated functions, in your app level build.gradle file, add this code configuration to set skip deprecated to true. To upload the Kotlin data documentation online, go to your repository settings, scroll down to the GitHub pages section, select main or whatever your branch name is and click save. And now you're done. The documentation for the code used in this example is online. Hello, my name is Starbuck, and I have been your narrator for this video. Come find me over at Jump Crouch for gaming reviews, gameplay, and jump scares. Ah!